I was, I think, a newly single parent then and start, about to start a new career. I was into looking, reading about different religions and spirituality, kind of craving. I was always craving, searching for truth with a capital T, but nothing was really resonating with me. So then I went back to my massage school colleague, Netta. I was like, tell me about the Baha'i faith, you know? And then she gave me the phone number of someone who had this study circle at her house. I probably waited for about nine months because I was like, ah, I don't know, she had a weird name. Her name was Addison. And um, I didn't know about going to her house. So I waited about nine months. And then I finally called and she told me about the Baha'i faith and about progressive revelation and the equality of men and women and all the peoples and I couldn't believe I, I said this is a religion this is what I believe you know so it was really interesting. I was really excited to get to know Diane because it's a real treat to meet somebody who is on a spiritual journey and really wants to get to the answers so she had a lot of questions and she was really skeptical and not at all sarcastic, just skeptical. She just, she had to protect her daughter before she could get involved with anything. So she wanted to be sure that she was uh, making rational, good decisions and uh, sticking to her principles. Oh, so enthusiastic about the Baha'i faith. She was so enthusiastic to share with me and share about the history and the teachings that I was so skeptical. I asked her early on, like, are you getting paid to recruit me? Because she was so enthusiastic. She was like, no. <laughs> and I said, no, I'm just telling you this because I believe it and I'm excited about it and I wanted to share it with you. I kept studying and looking for mistakes because humans always make mistakes. So if this Baha'u'llah was a human, Somewhere in his writings, he was going to contradict himself, or there'd be some contradiction or something that raised a flag in me, like, this isn't quite right. Usually she asked a question from a point of, what do you guys think about this? And, <laughs> and then it was a bit um, like, I'm going to bust you on this one. And then she'd hear the answer, and then she didn't say, oh, great. She'd just say, hmm. But she never got frustrated with me or impatient with me with you know, my questions or my cynicism. I felt like, um, I felt like she loved us. And then I could also start feeling my heart kind of unraveling, almost like light was uh, emitting. There maybe it was a tightness there before and I started feeling light when I was reading the words and things. Diana is one of my best friends and her daughter feels like family to us, uh, to my husband and I, and also to my parents. They kind of adopted her as a granddaughter as well. I think the material we studied and the interactions we had deepened our friendship. It's not just a casual friendship. I, yeah, I love her to this day. 